Yeah. We got some wind gusts yesterday, and uh, thankfully that those wind gusts are gone now, mm -hmm. but we do still have a little bit of cloudiness this morning. Yeah, so yesterday, I'm going to show you this in a moment, we had many spots with 40 mile per hour plus wind mm -hmm. gusts, and that's not good when it's raining, I'll tell you that. Well, it's not raining now as you look live at a place that's going to be real busy later this afternoon. This is I-70 at West Street. Roads dry because the rain is gone. This is how you exit 70 to get to Lucas Oil Stadium for tonight's big game. Let me talk about those wind gusts that Carlos was addressing. Bloomington yesterday, 47 mile per hour wind gusts, as was Westfield. In Indy, at our airport, the gusts hit 46 miles per hour. Cloverdale, Columbus, all at 40 mile per hour gusts. And Greensburg, 37 mile per hour wind gusts. So we're glad that that is gone. It'll be windy again tomorrow, though, too. Logansport, you're at 37. Tipped it at 40. Good morning, Hartford City. You're at 40 degrees this morning. We're liking 41 in Indy. That's a good temperature. In fact, that's about 10 degrees warmer than the average low for this time of year. Martinsville, you're even warmer at 42, as is Bloomington. Seymour Bedford at 44 degrees this morning. But look to our north and west. This is pretty significant. 30 degree temperatures dropping as far south as Oklahoma City. This is a cool pool of air that's going to try and punch its way in here in back of a front. In the meantime, as we get closer to the Colts game tonight, 40 degrees by 10 a.m. Around kickoff this evening, uh, the temperatures drop from 45 to 43. So you'll notice there is very little movement in temperatures during the course of the day today. If you happen to be going out to winter lights tonight at Newfield's perfect night, I think temperatures in the 40s, have some hot chocolate and enjoy that world class light display there on the grounds of Newfield's. Now let's talk about rain. Not going to get any today, not going to get any tonight. As we move into tomorrow afternoon, here come the showers. And going into early Wednesday, we're looking at 59 hundredths of an inch of rain, half an inch or so. Our marginal risk of severe weather extends from Indy to Evansville. However, we're looking for some strong, possibly serious thunderstorm action that could produce tornadoes. Eastern, or pardon me, Western Kentucky into Memphis, that area. And here's how everything plays out. Again, today we're just fine. Notice this deep area of low pressure. There's a front in back of it with snow in Iowa and Wisconsin tomorrow. Our rain starts coming in here late during the evening rush hour. It's going to rain during that whole time. And with this warm breeze ahead of the front, it could be quite windy. Now at about 2 in the morning, here comes the front moving through taking most of the rain with it, but then in back of it, some really cool air, and we'll talk more about that in a bit. 46 today, up to 60 tomorrow, ahead of that front with the rain coming in late. Only 37, what a drop, a 23 degree drop in high temperatures from Tuesday to Wednesday, only 36 Friday, then slowly but surely, we're back up to 52 by a windy Saturday.